So this is um, another tutorial. Uh, this one actually came from a request. Uh, someone is asking how to create uh, an organic looking kind of uh, cables for, for products. So I say, okay, I'm going to make just a quick video for these ones. Um, so let's just get into Maya and start building this kind of cable. Okay, so this is the this is the product that I built. If you want to download this product, you can go to everycg.com. You can download this product there. Okay, so um, so the wire, the cable is here. I will show you actually two ways of building it. Just uh, you know, uh, one you can uh, you can choose any any uh, any method that you like. Okay, so let's uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete uh, this cable. Uh, so that we have to let's let's rebuild it so what you can do is to build this kind of cable i normally start from the top view so this is the way our cable is gonna go like that and you know and go into this plug right here so one thing you can do is you can use ep cuff tool or cv cuff tool you can see if you go to cuff tools here you can use cv cuff tool and uh, or maybe use ep uh, cuff tool any one of them is the same uh, i have a tutorial where i used uh, cv cuff tool so this time around i'm gonna use this ep cuff tool okay so what you need to do is you start from the top view like this and you just start clicking like that so you can just make it as organic as you want uh, just drop your Just drop your uh, the points like that and you press enter when you are done so once you finish let's uh, maximize this uh, uh, the top view here you just right click and uh, you can begin to adjust this um, these points like like this to So let me see this one, just put it, just push it like that. So you just something like this. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. Depends on the kind of shape that you want. Okay, everybody have cables at home. You can just look at the cables, see how they flow. And then you can just um, adjust yours or depends on your scene. If you wanna hide the cable, you can just uh, draw them in a place that it will be hidden. Okay, so once you finish, one thing you want, you need to know is that this here that the, uh, the two lines meet, they are actually uh, touching each other. You don't want that. So what you can do is you grab this one right here and you move it up a little bit. You see now we've created a gap there. So you can just move it up like that. And maybe this one as well just move it up a little bit so now i know that they are not touching okay so the next thing you want to do is is first of all you i want to you can uh, let me hide this this product for for some time and uh, so we can have more space to work with so now we need to create the the cable that will run across along this line here so let me use a simple box for that so you just push it in there okay something like this 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 box is too big so what i'm gonna do is i want the i just want the cable to be like 0.5 thickness so what i'm gonna do here is type 0.5 right there and maybe i will make it um slightly 
just flatten it a little bit so it doesn't have to be a box on its own something like this would be cool or maybe let's do it the other way like that so what i can do now is maybe let's reduce it a little bit so what I can do now is I want to round the edges of the of the cable. Just select these ones and go to modeling toolkit and bevel it. I think this shape looks nice. So I can just increase the the segment to like four. No, I think maybe two. Actually, I would just leave it at one like this then I can now try to smooth it because I like I like that shape as it is. So so what we can do is let's just move it close to this line here. I think it's touching. So what we need to do is uh, before we extrude it along here, I want to rebuild this curve. You see, when you look at this right now, you can see the points that we have here, they are very, they are not consistent some have wider spaces and you know some you know more tighter so um what we can do now is to rebuild this curve so to rebuild that you go to um curves and you go to rebuild curve so rebuild here and you bring out this so what i want to do i want the uniform zero to one and here we can now select how many curves that we want for example if i choose something like 11 and if i rebuild you can see the curve now have only 11 so which is that's not what i want so and you can see it has changed the 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 shape of our curve so what we can do we need more uh, segments here let's try 55 Let's see how that looks. I think 55 looks just fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna use 55. And also I want to change this one a little bit. And also here, just, just move it in a little bit. Let's go to top view here and just move it in. Okay. So I think I like this one the way it is. 55 is fine so we come back here let's come back here to our the little box that we did so what you need to do is you select this one and you go to face mode and you select that then you shift select this one and you press ctrl e to extrude see what it does it it just brings this uh this curve from end to end and uh, be, that's because we don't have segments along this curve so what we need to do is we begin to add uh, divisions here i'm just gonna override this one to like let's say 85 or maybe 100 i think 100 is good so what we need to do now is i think i like it this way so what you need to do now is you just select it and you delete history to get rid of that curve and then this end here i think we can just delete that and also let's do it here and uh, you can also then delete this one then we can smooth it press three on your keyboard i think we have our cable that's how you do it so let's bring back our um shift a to unhide our product i can see the cable is not uh, touching the so let's just adjust it a little bit just grab it put it up and there you go push it back a little bit so that's how you do a cable in uh, in maya okay 
so let me know in the comment section below and if you have any question or any request for any tutorial please you let me know oh, okay i i forgot to show you the other way that i said you can do it that also is like it's more of a manual way to do it for example we can just draw this cable like this uh, remember to s give it the shape that you want from the beginning and then we can just drag it this way okay let's drag it like that and then we can just select go to face and delete this part and then what we can do now is actually i think i have another one there you can delete this one so now you can grab this one this edge right here you can do it like so all right and then you extrude it again click on that do it like this extrude again you do like that extrude again you can take it that way and let's extrude one more time you can do it like this extrude again bring it out that way extrude again and you can do it and maybe one more extrude right there you can just something like this so when you are done let us take this one and move it up a little bit so we are not touching okay like that so what we can do now is we grab this one just actually let's just grab all of them at the same time only the edges remember just deselect all these ones here okay so you add bevel and you can do it like this so this is uh actually let me do it one by one let me do this one first um, so you just grab that one because i just want to make it to be full uh, more rounded right there so and then maybe grab this one and then And let's create that one there and maybe just take this one at the same time and bevel it and something like this and let's do this one right here and then so when you are done you just have to extrude it remember it has to be 0.5 because otherwise you're gonna get uh, um, like this so you can have a more rounded corners okay so once you finish you can just you see we have another cable right there okay so i'm just gonna delete that one so uh thank you for watching and uh, i will see you again in the next tutorial bye bye